The next step in our Flappy Bird game is to make it so that when our player touches an object that's not the middle of the obstacle where they're going to get a score, that the game stops. And we're going to put that right into our script for our player controller. So in here we have just added this on trigger enter 2D. So we set the rectangle that is the sprite for our score to be a trigger. And so it's going to trigger this on trigger enter 2D. But everything else is set without a trigger, so it just gets the action gets created when there is a collision. So we're going to add in on collision enter 2D. And with that, we simply want to stop our game. So we're going to put time dot time scale equal to zero. So that's going to make it so when we run into anything in our game, so if I can play my game here, you see here, I'm clicking. Oh, if I touch anything, it's going to stop the game. It's going to sit right there. Now that's fine but we'd like to have a way to restart it. So what we're going to create now is a panel that will come up for, uh, we'll have like a, re, a game over screen and then a restart button. So within our canvas here, we're going to click on the plus and go down to UI and add a panel. We're going to call this game over panel. All right. So you can see if I zoom out here into my canvas, I can see what that panel looks like. It's the same shape of my screen. I don't think it needs to fill up the whole screen, so let's just have that panel be here. And within that panel, let's add some text. Have that text uh, maybe say game over. And let's make it, make it a little bit bigger. We'll center it, and let's just have it be white. Okay, so game over is here. And then let's add ourselves in a button. Let's go back to our canvas, UI, and choose button. And let's move that into place here. And let's call this restart button. We can change the color of that if we want, that's fine. Uh, under button, if I expand that, I click on text, I can change the text. Let's say restart game. And then we wanna have a script that's going to have this, uh, we're gonna have the script have this, when we click this button, it's going to restart our game. So let's go down and create a new script and have it be called restart game. And let's take a look at that. So inside here, we're going to be restarting our scene. And so we'll need to add in a library called Scene Management. And if we go and we look at our scene, we go back to Unity, our scene is called Sample Scene. So we're going to we're going to get rid of all of this and make our own method in here called restart. Let's put in our begin and end for that. Okay, and what we want to do in here, I'll just clean this up a little bit, is we want to say scene manager dot load scene and the scene that we want to load is sample scene now this has to match the name of your scene so if you're not sure back in the unity that's the name of the scene right there sample scene okay so 
Now, because our game was stopped, we also want to start it back up. So now we're going to set time scale equal to 1 to turn that back on. All right, let's take a look at this here. Now, if we run our game, now, the problem, our game works just fine. I can click here and make it work, but now we have that panel that's in the way. So now let's deal with that. So we want to control that panel when it's turned on and when it's turned off. And to do that, uh, let's go back into our player controller, and let's have it so that when the game starts, that that panel is turned off, okay? So let's go into player controller here, and at the start of our game, uh, let's go ahead and, and set a panel. Now, to access that, we're going to have to make a variable. And let's just call it game over panel. Okay, so now we can talk about our game over panel. And we can use set active, and we want to set that uh, to false so that when our game starts, it's going to set that panel to be false. Now, while we're here, let's think about when do we want to turn that on. Well, we want to turn it on uh, when we have this collision that we've put in here. So before we've shut the game down, let's just go ahead and we can grab that line right there and copy and paste it down to here. And now we want that panel to be true. Okay. So now let's take a look at that. All right, so now we run. All right, let's try that again. Um, game over panel hasn't been assigned. So what's going on there is um, we have our player, and in our player controller, it's looking for the panel. We have to tell it. Now, before I do that, let's put um, this restart button into this panel and this other text into there. So that's all now together as one unit. And then let's bring that over into, whoops, let's go into our player, and let's connect that game over panel with our game object. Let's see what happens now. All right, the panel's gone. Oh, and then it pops up, and then I can click restart. Now my button is showing action, but it's not doing anything. So now we need a trigger this um, this button in here so that when we're on our button, when we do a click. So in our button here, it has this, this, this list of properties here. You see what's saying on click. What do I want to do? Well, I want to add here during runtime, I want to add this restart game. So I'm going to take this script from here, drag it up to the being the object, and then under functions, you're going to see it gives me a list of functions. In my case, I want restart game, and I want to choose restart. So this is going to make this button connect to the restart uh, method that we put into our restart script. All right, so let's save this. Restart game, and now I'm restarted. Yeah. I'm going to have to really adjust my... Oh, man. Can I make it through one time? <whistles> All right, I have to adjust my speed a little bit on my player. Okay, that's the game over panel. That's pretty good. And we just got one more step, which is to add our game art and animate.